broadcasting live from Hutchinson, Kansas. Call Jiggy right now. 267-22-JIGGY. Presenting Jiggy Jaguar. It would help if I turned the microphone on. Get a hold of us online at JiggyJaguar.com. That's J-I-G-G-Y-J-A-G-U-A-R.com. Coast to coast, border to border on iHeartRadio. AMFM247.com. And, of course, 50-plus AMFM stations across the country and around the world. KFRK in Denver, as well as our good friends out there around the world and all over the country. It should be all over the country and around the world. That's what it should be. I think I may have got some things adjusted correctly. Because on video, by the way, live video at our website, JiggyJaguar.com, I've got my, my mic flag. I've got my mic set. It's right by my face. Everything is working excellent today. Go ahead and find us on the Twitter machine at J I G G Y J H E U A R. So we are going to try this. <laughs> we have got <laughs> the last time I tried this, I wasn't very successful. So we're going to see what happens here. But Robbie Bach is going to join us here in just a few moments. And, of course, Robbie Bach is going to be with us. His latest book is The Wilkes Insurrection. It's launched, and you can find all the details on his incredible website. By the way, Robbie has quite the website. In doing research for this interview, I went over there, and it's pretty damn amazing. He is best known for founding and leading the team that created the Xbox. Today's an entertaining storyteller and just an amazing, amazing individual. He writes books, speaks to audiences on leadership, creativity, strategy, and civic issues. And in 2015, he published his first book, Xbox Revisited, a game plan for corporate and civic renewal. The Wilkes Insurrection is his very first novel. And he joins us here on our big, big broadcast right now. Robbie Locke with us today. He joins us live here on our big program. So, Robbie, you have all sorts of projects you're involved in. Tell me about your latest. Well, the latest is a a, a political and and techno thriller called The Wilkes Insurrection. It's a novel set in today's world where... Uh, there's an anarchist who's trying to tear apart the country, and a group of people have to band together to uh, respond to him and, and uh, save the, the country that they love. And it's, uh, you know, character-driven. My primary character is a woman named uh, Major Tamika Smith. She serves in the Air Force. Um, and it's, you know, an exciting, twisty, turny thriller that's getting great reviews so far. Fantastic. So tell me a little bit about the writing process for this book. Yeah, so I started writing from the characters. I literally wrote about 100 pages of what I call character art about Major Tanika Smith, about uh, another character, Johnny Humboldt, and another character, Bryce Roscovich. And I wrote these character arcs, and then I said, oh, now I see how these characters can interact with each other. And then you see a plot start to form. And then I, you know, realized that this plot was going to be a thriller, and away we went from there. And pretty soon I'd written, you know, three, four hundred pages. And so it, it's it's written from the perspective of the characters, with a heavy emphasis on those, on those characters, but with all the great things that you'd expect from a thriller. So this book, incredibly well written. Tell me a little bit about some of the reviews and uh, feedback you've gotten on this book so far. Well, yeah, uh, I, you know, the, the, feed, the feedback has been fa- fantastic. My, my rating on Goodreads and Amazons are, you know, four, half, four and a half to five across the board. Um, Men Reading Books, which is an independent bookseller, called it the best thriller of the year. Um, so, you know, you've got it's, – it's, a, it's, a, it's a achieving the critical goals 
that were set out for it. I'm just going to read you a quote. There's uh, Robert Tagoni, who's a best-selling author of the Tracy Crosswhite series, says it's a timely must-read thriller with rich characters and a plot full of unexpected turns. Get ready to fall in love with Tamika Smith. When you get another author to, to say that you should fall in love with your character, uh, that says something. So tell me about some of the different characters and uh, some of the different plot twists and everything in the book. Well, so the basic, so the the bad guy in, in the book is a, a guy named Ford Wilkes, um, and and there's there's actually two bad guys, uh, another bad guy named Obey Bin Latif, and those two characters work together to create a series of of uh, disasters that happen across the country, and I won't spoil the plot by going into each of those, but they have a plan, and their master plan is to sow chaos and to create. Uh, anarchy, if you will. Uh, Major Tamika Smith is a uh, combat search and rescue veteran. Uh, she served in Iraq and Afghanistan. She's now a, a reservist. Uh, she works in the U.S. Senate as a staffer for a U.S. Senator, but has been called in on reserve duty to Offutt Air Force Base, which is where she is when the, when the first plane crashes. And so she has to rush in and rescue people, and from that starts her engagement and the challenges she faces as she's tried to help others track down uh, Ford Wilkes and Obey Bin Latif. Um, Bryce Rotskovich is another important character. He is a uh, dark web hacker um, who is the supplier for materials for, for uh, Obey Bin Latif and Ford Wilkes. And then he starts to realize what they're doing, and then you see how he evolves and what he decides to, to do about that. So all these characters interact with each other in interesting ways, and in each chapter in the book, I'm writing from one of the characters' perspectives. So in one chapter, you're in Tamika Smith's head, and the next chapter, you're in Obey Bin Latif's head, which makes for a very interesting contrast as you go through the book. So are these characters based upon people you know, or how, how did you come up with these characters? You know, uh, people ask me that. Uh, are they people I know? They, they aren't. They are, uh, they're just characters that have been running around in my head. Uh, my dad served in the military. I did not. Um, but my dad served in the military, and I, I've engaged with a lot of people who, families who have served in the military, and I've always wanted to write about what that was like. And so that's where Major Tamika Smith comes from. Bryce Roskovich sort of echoes back to my 22 years at Microsoft, and so I know a little bit about that technical space and a little bit about um, cybersecurity and what's going on in that space. So I wanted to write a character uh, like that. Um, several of the characters are from the Midwest, which is where I grew up, so I have a little bit of background in, in what it's like to grow up in the Midwest. So like, like all authors, I've sort of drawn from my past, but not person by person. I've created and pulled together a character set from a lot of different experiences. So this book, incredibly well written. We've got a great guest with us today, Robbie Bach, joins us here on our big broadcast. So how did you exactly write this book? Did you use an outline, notes? How exactly did this come about? Yeah, so this is, this is, if you talk to my wife, she would say, I tried to get him to go to a writing school. I tried to get him to go to a writing camp, and, I, of course, I didn't. Um, I wrote a nonfiction book in 2015 called Xbox Revisited, which is a business and civic strategy book. So the writing part to me, you know, the pure process of writing sentences and paragraphs and, you know, having the writing be uh, quality writing was not the real challenge. The challenge for me was figuring out characters, plot, scene description, et cetera. And so I didn't start with an outline. I started with these character sketches. And then I wrote a prologue, which is obviously the first part you'll read in the book, which is a scene that in my head takes place way towards the end of the story. And I wrote that scene without knowing how I was going to get the characters to that specific place. And then everything I did as I was writing the book was about getting the plot to that specific scene so that you could get to the, to the exciting ending uh, of the story. And so there, there's, there's an outline now, but there wasn't when I started. Well, what's been the uh, feedback on social media and emails and things like this? Well, you know, that's been the, the part that's been the most gratifying. I mean, I, you know, when you, when you do a book like this, friends buy it and they say, hey, it was a nice book. But I've gotten feedback from people who I haven't seen or talked to in a long time. 
um, who somehow saw something on LinkedIn or something on Facebook or whatever, and they buy the book and they write it back and they go, oh my gosh, I stayed up till 2.30 in the morning finishing it. Um, and, and these are people who go to bed at 10 o'clock at night. And so that's when you know you have broken through, when you have people who you haven't heard from in a long time or even people you don't, don't even know, and they come back and they say, wow, that was an, uh, an amazing read. And, and like as a first-time fiction writer, when you publish the book, you kind of go, huh, I wonder how people are going to react. And thankfully they've been uh, gracious and super positive. Well, before we let you go, how do people get the book and get involved with you online and everywhere else? Yeah, so uh, the best way to find out more about the book and to buy the book, I mean, obviously you can go to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or your local independent retailer. They all have the book. Um, you can also go to wilksinsurrection.com, which is the website, and there's a tra video trailer of the book. There are playlists for the characters. There's um, some, some theme descriptions for you there and, a, and, a, and an order button there as well. Um, and then if you want to learn more about me and the work I do and my, my civic work with nonprofits and the public speaking I do, you can go to RobbieBach.com. That's R-O-B-B-I-E-B-A-C-H.com. And uh, there's a website there that will tell you everything you need to know uh, about me. Fantastic. Well, I appreciate you making time for us today. We'll talk to you soon. Good luck with the book. And uh, have yourself a wonderful day. Fabulous. Thank you. Take care. Thank you, sir. That is Robbie Bach. We are going to take a time out. Larry Tracy is coming up. Yes, Larry Tracy is back with us. We are going to take a break. We'll be back with the great Larry Tracy on the way here. <laughs> 